On November 26, 2003, James Tapp, also known as Soldier Slim, was shot and killed right here in New Orleans. As you can see, we're in the noise. One, two, three. M A G N O L I A. Don't get involved in the foolishness, level. I'm trying to tell you what's happening right now. You know, well, you understand. I'm going to do my thing. You understand what I'm saying? And keep it real. You know me. You, know, you got the label popping up. Cut yeah, cut those committee. Yeah, it's official now. You heard me? Crucial in New Orleans, man. You understand what I'm saying? The little pad 94 was on the gangster. <laughs> <laughs> James Tapp, aka Soldier Slim, born September 9th, 1977, to Linda Tapp in New Orleans, Louisiana, with November 26, 2003, survived by sister Danielle Porter and his two sons was one of the realest to ever step foot out of the Noya. Born in uptown New Orleans, going back and forth from the Noya to the parkways, Slim will be no stranger to the street life. In his teen years, up to his early 20s, Slim would fight being on both that boy and that girl, hitting licks, pulling off jack moves, and getting into all kinds of street beefs. Slim will solidify himself as a certified gangster. <laughs> One of Slim's first local rap hits was Snorter Powder Bag, which he would rock clubs and bars with. Slim would do a joke and upon his release, signed with No Limit Records. This relationship wouldn't last long as Slim would feel that Pete was playing with the money. Slim would take it back to the streets and launch his own record label, Cut Throat Committee Records. You understand me? Understand me, man. You got the label popping up. Cut Throat yeah, Committee. Yeah, Cut Throat Committee. Yeah, it's official now. You heard me? Slim would still be in the streets and continue to pull off acts. Slim would rap about these acts in the lyrics of his songs, rapping word for word about an act that he pulled off in his song, If It's Beef, would it literally cause him to lose his life. Slim gave full details about a kidnapping that he and his cutthroat homies had pulled off. A hook will be put out on Slim and he will be taken out in front of his mother's home on November 26, 2003. There was a huge second line for Slim's funeral the entire New Orleans would attend. It wouldn't be long before Slim being crushed would be retaliated against. Jarrell Jigger Smith would be initially arrested for the crime but would later be released. That same year, Jigger would be arrested again for deleting Spencer Smith Jr. Jigger would again be released. In 2007, Jigger would be arrested for crushing Mandel Duplessis and would again be released. It is rumored that Jigger wasn't alone on the Switch of Slim hit. His partner in crime would be Stephen S.K. Kennedy. They would allegedly both be trigger man on the hit. Stephen S.K. Kennedy would be deleted in Houston, Texas as retaliation for going with the move on Soldier Slim. All right, what happened? So as he's telling me the story, a guy named Steve from out the Seventh War reached, coming in while he reached for the door and man shot him in the head. Rumored to circulate online that Jigger was solely responsible for Slim. There would be multiple YouTube videos chronicling the story that either told half truth, got the story entirely wrong, or that didn't know about SK's involvement. In New Orleans, there are steppers from every hood, uptown, downtown, West Bank, and the East. Darrell Jigger Smith would ultimately end up meeting his faith. Jigger will be found crushed in the 3500 block of Hamburg, the very same hood that he will wreak havoc in 